I've been working as a prison doctor doing therapy and assessments on the inmates in San Quentin for the last couple of years. It's both really interesting and sometimes it's really difficult. You know, the, throughout, a lot of these guys are really violent and they're really psychotic. These people have never had anyone be kind to them or father them in any way. And I'm the first person who comes along and says, you know, it's, this is not working for you. You know, it's not a good idea. I usually give the inmates pens and paper and it's a chance for them to write things down that have been uh, building up inside. But once it's on paper and you can talk about it, then there's really a chance for a change there. I feel really good about it and, and it's, you know, it's like one, it's one of the goals. It's like I have this very close relationship with them and I think it's probably one of the most difficult therapy relationships I've ever had because it means listening to all of these incredibly dark, violent, evil fantasies. You know, when I'm there listening to them, you know, I'm cringing inside because it's so evil. I get contaminated with all of the stuff that I'm hearing and talking about with them. I'll have nightmares about the prison, you know, where basically that kind of violent psychotic behavior kind of starts to infect me. And I have to kind of make sure, you know, I keep track of it and don't let it, you know, kind of get it out of my system. So I go to yoga and I meditate and I hike and I'm constantly doing things to try and like, you know, literally get it all out of my body and my mind, you know, so... Because I, I think if you don't do that, you can really, I think the place could probably make you unwell, you know. I suppose, you know, as long as I feel like I can be helpful, you know, and that I can take care of myself, I'll probably keep doing it. I couldn't imagine myself being there 20 years because it's just a lot of violence and craziness to absorb all the time. I think that's probably been the biggest thing that's really changed me working in the prison is I've spent a lot of time thinking about the nature of evil because you see, you actually see and experience evil in a very stark form in the prison